We have seen how, in its simplest form, HTML operates in two halves, the server and the client. The server we happened to use was Apache, but there are many others, and we had any number of browser clients to choose from. We could run everything on a single Pi, but for our purposes, use the pair of Pis to divide the process into two, which is more lifelike. So, two Pis, one for each task. In this short video, we will show you how HTML fits in with the other technologies, such as PHP, JavaScript, CSS, and MySQL, and explain what these other functions do. In plain HTML, things begin when you enter an address in the browser or click on a hyperlink. The request is transmitted to the server where it's interpreted. If the link is to an external machine, such as the BBC in our example, this is forwarded across the network and the reply included in the response from the local server. If the link is internal, then the details are pulled from local disk or memory and returned to the browser. It does not matter to the server whether the data comes from the local or an external source. Internal responses are likely to be speedier. One example included a local image where the code used image source images satim.png, where it referenced an image from the local file system, so that was included in the reply. And that is it. With the loop complete, the web server simply waits for another command. The next request from the browser may be related to the previous request, but could, of course, link to anywhere in the world. You can, after all, type anything into the browser address bar. This simple interaction is what is known as stateless. The example at the end of the HTML episode made the point that the HTML should describe content with the design being subsumed to CSS, cascading style sheets. As you will see in the forthcoming video, CSS can be included in the HTML code or linked to another internal file, in which case the CSS file is treated and combined in the response in exactly the same way as the image was above. All of the examples so far are excellent uses of the communications features of the filing system and of the internet. They don't, however, provide the system with any intelligence. PHP can provide this intelligence in several ways. Briefly, PHP is the code that can be embedded inside HTML. To alert the system that you are using PHP, replace the .htm or .html extensions with .php and include PHP inside the code. PHP is installed on the server. It traps the HTML code before it gets to the web server and runs the small PHP scripts. These scripts can control other programs on the server or link to databases. It then forwards the results to the web server to be processed in the standard manner. PHP has other uses and does not stand for pre-hypertext processor, even though this is an excellent description of what it really is. One good use for the intelligence PHP provides is database access, with a popular connection going via MySQL. We only briefly mentioned forms in the HTML presentation in preparation for the power provided by PHP. Online banking is an example of database access, and one where security is at a premium. There is no place for stateless HTML here. One of the roles of PHP is to keep track of the transactions and only allow access once security procedures have been passed. PHP will be used to log in and log out, and therefore are examples of stateful connections. The final technology is JavaScript. This is not Java, but JavaScript, a scripting language written to use the processing power in the browser without introducing security problems on the browser machine. JavaScript can be used on the outgoing and incoming browser connections. A typical example of outgoing JavaScript code would be the evaluation of forms before they are submitted to the server, i.e., is this field filled with a real postcode? Is this a valid email address? In this way, the processing power of the browser machine is employed to relieve some of the potential load on the server. On the receive side is a bewildering array of functions and controls, producing possibilities almost only limited by your imagination. This completes this roadmap of technologies for the coming videos.